The Exxon Radio Show with Rob McConnell is largely an opinion talk show. All opinions, comments, or statements of fact expressed by Rob McConnell's guests are strictly their own and are not to be construed as those of the Exxon Radio Show or endorsed in any manner by Rob McConnell, Relmar McConnell Media Company, the Exxon Broadcast Network, its affiliated networks, stations, employees, or advertisers. All Hit Radio. Welcome to the X Zone, a place where fact is fiction and fiction is reality. Now, here's your host, Rob McConnell. Welcome back to the Exxon, everyone. My name is Rob McConnell. Just uh, received uh, an email from Mitch Batros at Earth Changes TV. Uh, a newly discovered asteroid will whiz past Earth on Wednesday, the second close encounter in a month. The small piece of a space rock dubbed 2009FH will fly within 40, uh, 49,000 miles of the Earth's surface on Wednesday, March the 18th at 5.17 a.m. Pacific. So there we go, another near miss that uh, is going to miss us by, well, oh, just a mere 49,000 miles. According to space experts, there is no chance of impact. My guest this hour is Rabia, and I hope I say her family name right, Erduma, Erduman. Uh, she was born in Istanbul, Turkey, and later spent 10 years in Germany before arriving in the United States in 1983. She has traveled extensively in Europe, India, and Bali, and is fluent in English, German, and Turkish. Rabia's uh, BA in psychology is the foundation for her private practice in which she uses clarity process, alchemical hyp- hypnotherapy, uh, craniosacral therapy, polarity therapy, and trauma release to assist clients in their process of self-discovery. Rabia also teaches uh, tantric and spiritually orientated workshops. An inspiring lecturer, she has given talks on tantra, hypnotherapy, past life regression, and developing healthy communication skills, among other topics. She's written a book entitled Veils of Separation, Finding the Face of Oneness. It is her own healing journey in a fairy tale form. She has also produced four guided imagery CDs, Relaxation, Meditation, Chakra Meditation, and Inner Guides. And Rabia, welcome to the X-Zone. Hi. How are you this evening, or this morning, I should say? Well, for me, it's uh, a little bit past 10 p.m. here in uh, uh, California. All right, so it's still evening for you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Um, what made you dis- to do, uh, what made... What made you decide to learn these uh, therapies and transformation techniques? That's a very good question. Um, I was in Turkey and born and mostly raised there in uh, Istanbul. Mm -hmm. And I was sick a lot. I was known as a nervous child. I was sick a lot. And so it just was like you uh, have a pain, take a pill, you know? Right. And at the age of I developed some stomach issues, and at the age of 19, I went to Germany for college. Mm -hmm. I got a stomach uh, surgery. It was a hiatal uh, hernia, Mm -hmm. which I thought it finished, gone, right? About two years later, the symptoms came back. So that's what got me into really looking at, maybe I can do something other than uh, than a second uh, surgery. So that got me into looking and discovering all kinds of other ways that the physical body can be healed. You and I are going to discuss some of these other ways when we come back from this two-minute commercial break. Rabia, please stand by. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Rabia Er, 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 Erduman, is that how you say your name? Erduman? Is our special guest, and her website is www.wuwei.com. W.com. And we'll be back on the other side of this commercial break as the Exxon continues on the Talk Star Radio Network from our studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. 1 877 is toll free. My email address is exxon at talkstarradio.com. On MSN Messenger, talkstarradio at hotmail.com. 
and our websites, xzoneradio.com and xzonetv.com. I'll be back in two minutes as we continue this edition of the X Zone on the Talk Star Radio Network. Take a step back in time and discover old Florida cuisine at Marsh Landing Restaurant in Felsmere. Enjoy delicacies such as frog legs, gator tail, catfish, and swamp cabbage, or enjoy the more traditional cuisine like hand-cut Angus steaks, ribs, and seafood. Join us for breakfast with a southern flair featuring sweet potato pancakes, biscuits and gravy, and much more. Planning a party? Marsh Landing's private dining room can accommodate groups from 8 to 80 people. While you're visiting, enjoy the historic pictures, artifacts, and stories that line the walls. Marsh Landing is truly a unique experience. Marsh Landing Restaurant, 44 North Broadway in historic Felsmere, or visit marshlandingrestaurant.com. Marsh Landing, old Florida cuisine at its best. Did you know that when you're on the road with limited data or Wi-Fi, you can still listen to the x Radio Show with Rob McConnell, The Science of Magic with Gwilda Wiaka, X-1, Dimension X, Space Patrol, and every minute of the x Broadcast Network by calling 213-401-0080, courtesy of Audio Now. No smartphone, app, or internet needed. It saves your data plan, and it's free if you have unlimited minutes. Call 213-401-0080 to listen on any phone, anytime, anywhere. Remember 213-401-0080 for the best of the paranormal, parapsychology, and sci-fi radio programming anywhere. 24-7-365. Are you interested in the paranormal, ghosts, UFOs, or psychic phenomenon? Join me, Tim Bartley, co-host of Talking to Spirits with Lightworkers Tim and Justina, coming mid-January 2017 to the XZBN. We will channel spirits live and talk to them, revealing all kinds of amazing information. Spiritual attachments will be found and removed on the show, and so much more. To find out when you can listen to Talking to Spirits with Lightworkers Tim and Justina, visit www.xzbn.net for listeners on both sides of the veil. one 877 is toll-free. My name is Rob McConnell, and this is the Exxon on Talkstar. Our guest this hour is Rabia Erduman, and we're talking about her book, Veils of Separation, Finding the Face of Oneness. Tell us a little bit more about your book, Rabia, and what made you write it? Uh, my book is my own healing journey, my own spiritual journey in a fairy tale form. Mm-hmm. Came through um, one day, you know, I wasn't even prepared because English being my third uh, language. And all of a sudden, my inner voice said one day, you need to uh, write a book. So I felt like, oh my God, how can I uh, write a book? And then my inner voice came through again and said, you need to write a fairy tale of your own life. So that's how it really happened. And I would sit and the information was to not edit, just to write. Hmm. You know, so that way I'm not getting into judging myself about English being my third uh, language and all that. And I just wrote. It was so much fun. What is your book's main message? The main message is that healing is possible. Basically, in the book, uh, it starts with the four-year-old uh, little girl being very unhappy and uh, miserable, and then she finds 
me as her uh, adult self. And then other people, she, so the book is about like then how to heal all childhood wounds and uh, traumas. And then all of a sudden the judge comes, you know, the strong inner judge who judges her. And then we work with the judge and help the judge transform into a healthy judge who really supports this life. So different sub sub personalities uh, mm-hmm. show up, and how to really bring in transformation into our daily life is the main message. How long did it take you to write your book? It took me a year and a half. What I did was I took some time off. Basically, I wrote Saturday, Sunday, and Monday for a year and a half. Mm. Now, now tell me. Um, how did you end up in California from Turkey, Germany, Bali, and California? Wow. India before then. You My know. goodness. So you, you've been around the world. I've been around. So from Germany, I ended up in um, Bakersville, North Carolina, mm-hmm. and then Nashville, Tennessee. And that's how really the story unfolded in Nashville, Tennessee. I was still doing every day my own healing work, inner journey, and people in my uh, meditation group started asking what, what I'm doing, you know, they felt like I was doing something they didn't, mm-hmm. so they wanted me to give them uh, sessions. Ah. That's how I ended up giving, giving sessions, and then my teacher from Holland ended up moving to Laguna Beach. That's how I ended up moving with him on his staff. He opened an uh, institute. So then I just was on his staff. That's how I ended up in uh, Laguna Beach and then uh, uh, Santa Cruz and uh, Carmel. Yeah. Now, Rabia, when people come to you, uh, at, you know, for professional assistance, what kind of help do you give them? Um, depends on what they need. A lot of people come with some parts of their life not uh, working well, mm-hmm. you know, in their life of today, and then we look at what childhood belief systems, you know, like negative beliefs, uh, conditionings, uh, play a role in them not being happy with some, some parts of their life. Right. Also, sometimes like car, car accidents, you know, physical uh, trauma can create also tension in the body. I work with uh, emotional trauma, physical trauma. I do a lot of like hands-on uh, healing work, as well as very spiritual form of hypno hypnotherapy to help a person transform like a childhood patterns, like I'm not good enough, you know? Oh, yeah. Is, yeah. is there a lot of negativity in the world today? Oh, yeah. So what can, what can a person do, for example, they come and see you, you get rid of all the negativity, or, or they, you help them to get rid of all their negativity, and they get back in the everyday world and they're just inundated with more negativity. So how do you how do you teach them how to repel the negativity that is out there? That's a very good uh, question. And the, my experience is love. That There's seems... a part in our heart, mm-hmm. or of the, like in the center of the chest, it's a um, spiritual heart. Um, that's where our unconditional love is always. No matter how much we are uh, traumatized, we always carry unconditional love right there. So I teach people how to love themselves first. Right. So that comes first. And then that unconditional love can extend to people around them. You know, so they're not, we're not really being affected by the negativity. But how do we how do we how do we get someone who is very negative to understand that this isn't normal? Because a lot of people I meet them every day are are negative, not because they were born that way, but because of the conditioning that you were talking about a few moments ago. But to them this is this is their normal life. There's nothing wrong with them. Yeah. So how do we as as friends, as family, as loved ones, how do we convince them that, you know, this isn't normal? I know. Uh, One of the things from my 
two kids, you know, is I hand them uh, one of my book, you know, mm-hmm. a book, or my uh, relaxation uh, CD. I have like a chakra uh, meditation CD. I just hand them something and I tell them my uh, story. Oh, I see. You know, for me, personal stories really help. If I say to a person, oh, yeah, you can't be happy, they're not going to uh, believe it. You know, but if I tell them my story of how I was really unhappy as a child and so scared and uh, nervous and, you know, I stuttered for 10 years. Mm -hmm. To come to the way I feel, the wonderful, joyful life I have today, people really hear that. That's how I deal with it, you know. That's how you deal with it. But what happens, for example, not everybody carries a copy of your book around. Right. Well, how do we how do we how do we talk to people that we know are, are have a negative problem, and how do we help them? The word uh, for me I use is choice. Mm-hmm. You know, as kids growing up, we don't have choice. We have to basically do whatever we're told, and mm-hmm. if our parents move, in, and we don't want to. We don't have a choice. That's right. As an adult, the amazing gift we have is we have choice. What I say to that person then is, choose consciously to be unhappy, you know? And they look at me and they realize, oh, they can actually choose to be happy also. Uh, yeah? So, so, you, so what you do is you give them the choice of That's being right. either happy or unhappy. Right. And they will, if they understand the choice they're being given, will want to be happy. Nobody wants to be miserable. That's right. But so so many people don't realize now that they are grown-up adults and that Mm -hmm. they have choices in their life. So what we're doing is we're reinforcing their ability as adults to make a choice. Exactly. I see. I'm catching on. Tell me, um, what kind of workshops do you facilitate? Um, Basically, whatever feels like is going to help people... Like right now, I've been teaching quite a lot of uh, meditation Mm -hmm. uh, classes and chakra balancing, like the energy system in our body. Right. People seem to like that a lot. You know, so there's a real interest in communication classes, how to really help uh, each other find healthy ways to communicate with our partners, friends, as well as at work. That is a big problem today. People yes. do not communicate right. I know. I know. What you say or what you mean and what you say nine times out of ten are two different things. Exactly. And I believe that the lack of communication is what causes a lot of couples to to fall apart. Absolutely. And also at work, you know, people not mm-hmm. quite understanding what uh, the uh, other people at work mean and want and... Mm-hmm create a lot of uh, uh, trouble, yeah. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Right. Plain and simple. And also now, Tantra. I love teaching Tantra. It's a very spiritual form of sexuality for uh, singles as well as uh, couples. I love helping people find more joy inside of themselves, you know. What is craniosacral therapy? It's a hands-on work. It's a very gentle, like with a clothes on, Mm -hmm. very hands-on healing work where we get a sense of the bones in the body, the head, and uh, through like um, emotional trauma or physical car car accident, Mm -hmm. our um, bones in our head can be really tight in different parts of our body. So it's a wonderful hands-on healing uh, technique to help the body feel more uh, uh, relaxed and open. Some of the other types of therapies and, and processes that you uh, that you use include clarity process, alchemical hypnotherapy, uh, polarity therapy, and trauma release. And I'm going to be talking to you more about these when we come back from our news break at the bottom of the hour. Please stand by, Rabia. Thank you. Rabia Urduman is our special guest. And we're talking about her book, Veils of Separation, Finding the Face of Oneness. Her website is www.wewe, 
I W U. That's W U W E I W U dot com. Rabia and I will be back on the other side of this commercial break with the news as the Exxon continues on the Talk Star Radio Network. Once again, if you'd like to send me an email, I'm always interested in hearing what you, the Exxon Nation, think. Or if you'd just like to chat with me, my email address is exxon at talkstarradio.com. Or you can chat with me here in our studios at talkstarradio at hotmail.com. We'll be back on the other side of this commercial break with the news as the Exxon continues right here live and around the world on the Talk Star Radio Network from our studios in Hamilton. This is the Exxon Broadcast Network, broadcasting worldwide on broadcast affiliates and satellite program providers, including CNN Broadcast Network, Sirius Satellite Network, Star Media, Good News Radio Network, Angel Broadcast Network, Wiki Broadcast Network, and WPBN-TV. For more information on the X-Zone Broadcast Network, visit us at www.xzbn.net. Did you know that when you're on the road with limited data or Wi-Fi, you can still listen to the X-Zone Radio Show with Rob McConnell, The Science of Magic with Gwilda Wiaka, X-1, Dimension X, Space Patrol, and every minute of the X-Zone Broadcast Network by calling 213-401-0080, courtesy of Audio Now. No smartphone, app, or internet needed. It saves your data plan and it's free if you have unlimited minutes. Call 213-401-0080 to listen on any phone, anytime, anywhere. Remember 213-401-0080 for the best of the paranormal, parapsychology, and sci-fi radio programming anywhere. 24-7-365. is toll-free throughout the U.S., Canada, Alaska, and Hawaii. My name is Rob McConnell, and you're listening to us on the Talk Star Radio Network. My special guest this hour is Rabia Erduman, and we're talking about her new book, Veils of Separation, Finding the Face of Oneness. Now, Rabia, before we went to the commercial break, I was telling you, uh, the Exo Nation, about the different types of, of uh, processes and therapy that you use. And w- what is alchemical hypnotherapy? I know what hypnotherapy is, but I've never heard of alchemical hypnotherapy. Yeah, it's from the word uh, alchemy. Yes. That we're basically creating a deep transformation mm, in our okay. life. So we're going, like, finding the inner child of trauma. Yes. And then bringing in inner guides, like a wise old man or a guardian angel or very loving parts of ourselves, then join the wounded child. And that creates a wonderful uh, alchemical uh, transformation. So we're healing from within. Exactly. Gotcha. Exactly. Now, when we're talking about polarity therapy, is that are, are we talking about the um, the magnetic polarity of the person in order to get that in line so that it, all the the magnetic uh, resonance and fields will all be as they should? Um, ultimately, yeah. It's also uh, just like craniosacral therapy. It's another hands-on healing uh, mm-hmm. technique. Very beautiful. I use them together a lot. You do, do you? Yeah. So you can actually use more than one of these techniques at the same time? Very often I do that, like with a private uh, client. Let's mm-hmm. say they're coming with some tension in their chest. With their uh, permission, I can put my hand on their chest. Right. So I'm doing like a cranial polarity combination, also hypnotherapy, guiding them into their chest. So what you're doing is you're putting your, che- your hand on their thymus? Uh, yeah. I understand. Okay, yeah. because the thymus is where the center of the 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 body's frontal part is supposed to be. That's right. So then we're going into the tension in their chest, mm-hmm. ending up with whatever age that tension started and the trauma connected, the negative belief connected to to, to that, and, and then once we uh, heal it, yes, they come out of the session, their chest feeling really relaxed and uh, expansive. Got you. 
Okay. So basically what you're doing is you're, you're taking traditional medicine, adding it with um, new age techniques to heal the person whole. That's right. Now, uh, I would imagine then when we're talking about trauma release, this is uh, used to, in order to release the results of some traumatic incident that has happened to the person? It's not as birth. You know, the way a lot of us are born is mm-hmm. not very um, loving or uh, natural. So then like a lot of work I do is birth uh, trauma. If something went wrong at birth, um, then that feeling of fear or panic during birth mm-hmm. um, can really carry into our adult uh, life. Now, when we're talking, we're, when we're talking about something that happened at birth, are we talking about the actual birth? Or are we talking as the child was was growing after birth? Both, because so many times a client comes to my office and mm-hmm. shares with me that their uh, mom didn't want the child, or their mom uh, wanted a girl and the uh, client is a boy, or the uh, other way around, or yeah. you know. Okay. So imagine you're nine months in mm. the womb knowing you're already the wrong gender. That's sad. That's very sad. That creates such a something is wrong with me kind of belief system. So even though the child isn't born, the negativity may still be there because the mother is hoping for a little boy and it's a little girl or, or the other way around. Exactly. Or one parent wants a child, the other parent doesn't want the child. So in the womb, you're already feeling that conflict. Um, so I do a lot of birth trauma release that way, so we can we don't have to carry those right. I'm wrong or I'm not uh, wanted kinds of beliefs with us. You know. Do you do a lot of work with teenagers? I do some. I do some, but mostly with uh, grown-ups. Mostly with grown-ups who have. Uh, who have ultimately, I would imagine, have suffered some, some, um, something in their past that they realize that they need the help. And how do they hear about you? Uh, at this point, uh, word of mouth mostly. And I've done a lot of radio shows, mm-hmm. you know. And I've been in this area for since 1987 in uh, Carmel. So that's a long time. People seem to know me in this area, and I've done some TV shows and. Yeah. Um, the name of your book is Veils of Separation, Finding the Face of Oneness. Now, when you, when you, the, the title, Veils of Separation, are you talking about separating the, the problem from the person? Exactly. It seems like our old uh, belief systems, uh, conditioning, mm-hmm. I had a sense of it being like a veil. And they are uh, layers, you know, deeper and deeper veils. Right. And underneath is the radiance of who we really are. So when we work with the old patterns, the old uh, belief systems, the old judgments, and transform them, Mm -hmm. then our own true self has a chance to actually show up and live our lives in our body rather than our old uh, conditioning living this life. I see, I see, okay. You do tapes. You've got CDs, I mean. One is called Relaxation, the other is called Meditation, the other is Chakra Meditation, and the fourth one is Inner Guides. Chakra Meditation, how do you meditate specifically for the chakras? Chakras, for anybody who doesn't know it, are energy uh, centers throughout our body. Mm -hmm. In, In the Hindu system that I use, there are seven chakras through the body. So I guide the... um, listener through like their different chakras, different parts of their body, a balancing journey. So their chakras align and balance. And then the second uh, uh, meditation on the same CD is I help you balance your chakras. And then when you're at the top of your head, I ask you for a wish, a desire you would like to create in your life. Uh Uh-huh. Then I guide you down the chakras, with each chakra adding its uh, qualities to your uh, desire. It's a wonderful way to uh, manifest. 
What is uh, what has been some of the feedback that you've received from the many readers who have read your book, Veils of Separation: Finding the Face of Oneness? Um, some fascinating uh, feedback. This one person I was in a class um, uh, assisting, and she was taking the class, so she um, bought my book and then sent me an email saying that her husband just had somehow snatched it out of her hand mm-hmm. when she went back home, and she and he read it and he was enthralled by the book. Really, eh? That's one. And then this. Just two two months ago, a mm-hmm. woman called who had read my book. I mean, had bought my book, and she, on the phone she said that she had read my book. And that day, like a week or two ago, she was in a very difficult situation in her life. Right. All of a sudden, she thought, "Oh, in one of the chapters of Rabia's book, there's a very similar difficult situation that's being dealt with." So she goes back, reads that chapter again and applies it to her life, and it totally shifts the uh, difficulty. I love that. The feedback like that, you know, mm-hmm. over the years I've, I've gotten of how people really enjoyed, because it's a fairy tale, so the message gets much deeper into the subconscious. You're touching a lot of hearts. You're making a lot of positive difference in the lives of people who... I would imagine feel that they're they're going nowhere in a hurry. Yeah. How do you how do you keep them from falling back into the same situation that put them in that condition in the first place? Um, consistency is the key for, for me. You know, mm-hmm. like if I've dealt with a certain pattern, certain negative belief, very likely there is a deeper. Um, conditioning is hiding uh, underneath it. Uh, so when I don't just stop in the middle, you know, let's say I, um, I'm just wanting to read better. So I really work with my fear of reading and I come to a place of reading better. But what happens if I don't stop there? Uh, wanting to read better very often is going to not having felt good enough as a child. Yeah? I understand. When I realize, oh, wanting to read better, actually mm-hmm. hiding a fear underneath it. I was wondering if you could tell us about any family success stories that you may have. Um, yeah. Believe it or not, my dad was an uh, MD. Oh. So, you know, we're raised with the family. You have a pill. You have a pain. You uh, take a take pill, pill. You know? Yeah. You save lots of people's lives. But when I shifted and went to Germany and healed myself, and um, I was in Turkey one day, uh, you know, uh, visiting for a few weeks there, after uh, after I had moved to uh, Carmel uh, uh, here, and my mom had a severe pain, and I had learned this certain pain healing technique, and I just showed her that, and her pain just left, was totally healed. Hmm. So that made my dad a believer, you know? I guess it would. Yeah. And then we helped my mom with other kind of pain she had. Then my dad was having some symptoms, and I showed my sister how to do certain healing. And she was able to heal his symptoms where we helped him die of old age at some point, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and so I taught a lot of my skills to my sister. She was suffering for years of heavy depression and uh, headaches. Right. Like everyday headaches, you know. So she came, stayed with me for three months. We totally got into the depression. We did past lives, childhood um, memory, you know, trauma healing, and Mm -hmm. no more uh, depression after a while. Well, isn't isn't depression just anger turned inward? Very often, yeah. Yeah. So I would imagine that once you discover what the cause of the anger is, then you can then you can work on the depression. And one, once you've found out what the depression is caused by, you work on the psyche of the person in order to build their self-esteem back up. Exactly. And then the wounded child part mm-hmm. gets loved by uh, the adult and the guy. It's like a guardian angel. Right. You know? yeah. 
So you also so will you also use angels as uh, as as healing points within your yeah. therapy? Fairies, angels are wonderful. In my um, guided imagery CD, the inner guide, mm-hmm. I have the wise old couple, this wise old man and wise old woman. They're like a lot of my clients and students really like that. Like a very loving grandfather, grandmother kind of energy. Oh, right, yeah. You know, holding us and uh, loving us unconditionally. That I also is, that, use, that is, um, that animal is, guides. The unconditional love is the true love of loves. Yeah. Yeah. How has your work benefited you personally? Uh, my work, the key is again consistency. I stayed with it, you know, mm-hmm. when a certain pattern would heal. I knew there's something deeper there and deeper there, and so I went until I found the uh, radiance in, inside of myself. And right. The life has been much more blissful and uh, really peaceful, uh, you know, quiet in a really good way since then. Rabia, what is the main secret, I mean the very main secret that you can share with us tonight? There are two words that I'd like to share with you. We talked about them a little bit already, but repetition is good, you know? Mm -hmm. The one word is choice. Yes. As an adult, we have choice. And the other word is love. I feel that love is like air. You know, we have air everywhere we go. Mm -hmm. So it's love. Like love is in the air. It's not only a person loving me or not uh, loving me. When I realize the couch I'm sitting right now is uh, loving me because it is uh, supporting me, you know? So okay. we realize love is everywhere that we are. It becomes a very un- unconditional. How can one develop healthy communication skills? Very good question. Um, first, by learning adult communication, like how to be in the adult. Mm-hmm. And that's in my communication classes I teach that. Let's say if your inner rebel or inner judge is saying something, right. that's going to sound very different than you as the adult of saying it. You know? So healthy communication happens when we realize who we are and who the other person is is always lovable and uh, good enough. But what we say we can make mistakes in what we do or what we say. Rabia, please stand by. You and I have to take our final break for this hour. When we come back, we'll take a look at uh, tonight and uh, look at tomorrow night here on the X Zone. one 877 is toll-free. My special guest this hour is Rabia Uduman, and her website is www.wuweiwu.com. I'll be back on the other side of this break as we continue live and around the world on the Talk Star Radio Network from our studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. This is the Exxon Broadcast Network, broadcasting worldwide on broadcast affiliates and satellite program providers, including CNN Broadcast Network, Sirius Satellite Network, Star Media, Good News Radio Network, Angel Broadcast Network, Wiki Broadcast Network, and WPBN-TV. For more information on the X-Zone Broadcast Network, visit us at www.xzbn.net. Hi, I'm Larry Lawson, host of Paranormal Stakeout. With over 36 years in law enforcement, I have learned a few things. The most important is the proper gathering and preservation of evidence is vital to putting the bad guy behind bars. It's no different in the world of paranormal investigation. Whether it's the search for the afterlife, cryptozoology, UFOs, and extraterrestrials, how we gather the evidence, preserve that evidence, and present it to a jury of our peers will make the ultimate difference in proving the existence of worlds and entities that are beyond our imagination. Join me, Larry Lawson, every week on Paranormal Stakeout when, along with my guests, we'll take a journey to prove with indisputable evidence what man has struggled to believe for centuries. Go to xzbn.net for the broadcast schedule and check me out at paranormalstakeout.com.
true healing must address four levels, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual, for us to live joyful and productive lives. We tend to treat three of the four, leaving the spiritual languishing. If you're tired of the same dysfunctional patterns cropping up in your life, soul balancing is for you. Trixie Phelps, owner and founder of Soul Balancing, is a naturally gifted energy healer trained in numerous esoteric forms, including shamanism. Trixie has created a powerful modality that safely and effectively clears your energetic field. A soul balancing session can remove interference, heal trauma, and restore your hope. Contact Trixie for a life-changing long-distance session today, www.soulbalancing.world. Welcome back, everyone. I'd like to take this opportunity of thanking all our guests tonight. Gail Martin and I talked about the Chronicles of Necromia, uh, the Dark Haven. Lisette Larkins and I talked about Calling on Extraterrestrials, Dr. Christian Von Lohr and Christopher Valentine, and I talked about Are Leprechauns Real? And, of course, our guest this hour, Rabia, Ur, Ra, Rabia Urduman, and I have been talking about her new book called The Veils of Separation, Finding the Face of Oneness. On tomorrow night's show, we have Christine Page, Sean Henry, and two very special guests. That's tomorrow night here on the X Zone. Once again, uh, Rabia, I'd like to thank you very much for joining us tonight and uh, for sharing your your um, your insights and your the way that you help people to overcome their problems in your book, Veils of Separation, Finding in the Face of Oneness, and basically how you've taken your own story, put it into a fairy tale, so that other people would be able to associate with it. That was a very smart idea. And you know, one last thing about my book, several people in my vision has also been, this would make a great uh, movie, you know, like The Lord of the uh, Rings. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So many people would be reached that way. Um, what is? What would you like to create this year? That's really what I'm visualizing and taking steps in uh, how to find the connections that I need to create a movie out of my book. People have been enjoying it so much and telling me they could see it as a film, you know? Right, right. I understand yeah. that, yeah. Where can people buy your CDs and where can people buy your book? Um, so they can buy it through my uh, website. And that's at www.wuweiwu.com. Is that correct? Exactly, yeah. Are you coming out with any more books? Um, it's circulating something about relationships because mm-hmm. the communication skills is so important, you know? Yes to write a book on relationships and uh, uh, communication. Yeah. Okay. Rabbi, I want to thank you very much for joining us. Take care of yourself. Continued success, and we'll look forward to seeing your um, your book in the big screen one day. Thank you so much. Thanks Take care for, of yourself. Thanks uh, for talking with, with me here. It's my great pleasure. Take, Take care, care of yourself, my dear. Bye-bye now. Well, that was an interesting hour. When I come back tomorrow, we're going to have more wonderful people here on the Exxon. I'd like to take this opportunity of thanking my good buddy at Master Control, the one and only Miss Melanie, who is the president of the Dr. Gabe Merkin Fan Club. Mel, thanks very much for keeping us up on those four big satellites in the sky, Galaxy 4R, Telstar 7, Aglia 2, and on G3. Rob and Scarborough, thanks, buddy, for taking care of everyone at the um, Exxon TV chat room, and I hope your root canal goes good tomorrow. My daughter, Stephanie, my segment producer. Thanks, Steffi. Another great job. And to you, the x Nation, thank you for allowing us to be part of your day or night, no matter where you are in this great big world. Once again, if you've got a child at home, give them a hug, give them a kiss. Tell them they are loved because the children of today are the leaders of tomorrow. So until tomorrow, take care of each other and always keep your eyes to the sky and your heart to the light. Good night, my friends.